Hey y'all, welcome back to Life More Abundantly with Chauncea. I wanted to um, hop on here and just release a word of encouragement that the Lord had given me um, a couple days ago. Um, and it didn't have a scripture tag to it at the moment, but I will still, you know, be um, sensitive to the Lord's spirit in regards to if he does provide a scripture with it, I'll just be sure to link it in the description box. Um, but there were just two words and it was like, actually it was one word. Um, and that was a word again. And so this word on today is titled, um, and again, again means in addition to what has already been motioned or done. Um, it means extra besides that over and above. And God was just ministering that he's doing it again, whatever your it is. He's doing it again. He's delivering you again. He's coming through for you again. He's making a way for you again. He is coming through with that additional blessing, that extra move, that over the top miracle for you. And I know like for some, the weight has been extremely weighty. Um, it has been um, challenging. It has been something you've never experienced before, encountered before. And you've been frustrated. You've been irritated. Some maybe even like myself have become, you know, in a sense, um, I want to just honestly, just like angry at God and feeling disappointed in God. Like he's like forgotten about you. Um, but he hasn't, and God knows like us in our fullness, like he knows how we feel and he understands, but he's letting you know, he's letting us know that he's, he's about to do it again. He's even now invading the earth and moving on behalf of his people. He is acting on our behalf. He has not forgotten us. He has not um, left us. He is still here with us. And I keep hearing that like I'm here. God is reminding us that he is here through the pain, through the tears, through the disappointments. And through it all, God is here. He understands. He understands. He is touched with our infirmities. We don't have a high priest who does not understand us. And so I know that the wait has been long, but God is about to show you why the wait was long. Just just wait until you see this again blessing. Just wait until you see this again move of the Lord. Um, and there was an example that came to my mind as I was, um, you know, just jotting down notes about this um, word. And the example was, you know, when somebody is late, it's like <laughs> when they finally do come through the door, it's like you late again, like you forgot to take out the trash again. Like it's something that um, they're repetitive in doing. And then it hit my spirit. That's literally how Father God is. Like, it's like, God, you came through again. God, you blessed me again. God, you did over the top again. Like, God is repetitive in his character. Like, he's constant. He's consistent. And he just wants to remind us of that. Like, God is the God of again. He will not fail you. He will not you know, switch up on you. He won't change up on you. He is the God of again. So I want you to be encouraged on today that God is doing it again. And it's going to happen so swiftly. It is going to happen so quickly. It is going to be an overwhelming blessing. It's going to be good, but it's going to overwhelm you because you're going to be reminded like God did forget me. God did not forget me. And he wants to bless you. It's why the wait has been so long because God is just lining up so many things for you because you stuck with him when, when you could have given up, when things were hard, when things were rough, when things were tough, when others fell off by the wayside. And even when you did fall short, you still got back up and you still trusted in the Lord and God is blessing you in a major way for that. In a major way. Right now I hear my spirit, um, the song major by um, J. Caitlin Carr. And so just I encourage you, if you can, listen to that song and allow it to minister to your spirit because I, I seriously hear the, the words major. Let me do major in your life. Let me do above and beyond in your life. Ephesians 3 and 20. God is a God of, you know, exceeding abundantly above. He's not just an over the top God. Like he is like extra like God like when you see somebody doing extra or hear somebody doing extra it just means that they just doing the most like you doing too much I need you to chill out 
Well, that's the type of God we serve. We serve the type of God who he he be just he doing he doing the most. But in this case, we want him to do the most. Like he being real extra with your blessing. Like you ask for a, a kingdom spouse, honey. He gonna give you that and some. Like he gonna give you a best friend. Like he gonna give you a rider, all wrapped wrapped in one. Like God is he's literally, honey. Let God do the most. Just let him do the most. Be encouraged on today and know that God is the God of your again.